I landed officially at the Chicago airport like 30 minutes ago. I finally found myself a corner where the outlet works and I'm gonna attempt at watching lectures. It is 2.15 a.m. I finally set up camp and after procrastinating for a bit, I decided to actually study because I really did have an exam at 8 a.m. and it was already like 2.15 and I was really behind. But that didn't really last long because then I got hungry and I didn't even finish the lecture. And then I started to stretch and I just, you know, kept stretching because I wanted to waste more and more time. Clearly, and I continued to waste even more time because then I went to the bathroom to do a little skincare pick-me-up routine. And as you can see, I was in a lot of pain, a lot. I can't believe I injured, sprained, sp yeah, sprained my neck on the flight to California because I didn't bring a neck pillow the first time. It's crazy. Like out of all the things of like, what could have happened, a little turbulence and me falling asleep did that to me. So yeah, I didn't even perform at the wedding. Everyone at the wedding laughed at me. Also, my tongue scraper is the bomb.com. It is actually a game changer. I don't like those tongue cleaners that like brush and stuff. I like for to actually scrape the stuff out, the gunk. It's really gross. I get my friends, I get all my friends one. Okay, not all my friends, but <laughs> close friends <laughs> and a tongue scraper. So it's 4.40 in the morning. I'm pretty wide awake after I did my little skincare routine in the bathroom. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually, I'm really hungry, but I'm too lazy. I, I mean, an hour ago, everything was closed. I doubt anything's open right now. People are slowly like coming in. It's, I'm just thinking about like this 24 hour challenge I decided to do and like, I'm just, when am I gonna regret it? At what point in the day? I, I well, I'm curious. Right now, I'm like pretty up here, but like, what am I gonna like take? This is a brownie. It's a vegan brownie from the last layover, and it was disgusting. It looked so good, but it just tasted awful. <gasps> Kelly Stamps, love her. I love watching her. I really think we could be friends in real life, especially right now because I am alone. <laughs> As you can see, no one's at the airport. No one. This was me now trying to watch a lecture and massage my body with a massage gun. Yep, I really brought one. Yes, it is important. It's a necessity. Look at that gorgeous sunrise it's beautiful can't really tell but in real life those colors were stunning ah, and then there's people it was good to see people in the early mornings i really do like to journal or script 
it's like my manifesting hour. It helps me get into the right mindset. Um, and I just kind of talk about my ideal life as if it's happening right now. I got really tired, so I started walking around. I thought I'd, you know, move my body, get my blood circulating, and really check out this airport. With the amount of airports that I've recently been able to go to, I think I should just start doing airport reviews. That would be so much fun. But here I am, Terminal 3, and I thought that was really pretty. I like this glass window situation. This was my favorite part. It is just breathtaking so beautiful all the flags and the lighting oh, i'm hungry <laughs> who did i think i was sitting at this gate waiting to board for cancun and immediately they closed it's like they didn't even know that i was supposed to be there <laughs> some more food things oh this place was it it was only supposed to be one but then the bartender like looked at me and was like you you want another one and i'm like heck yeah all he had to do was give me that look they kicked me out it was kind of hurtful and it was back to being lonely again. <laughs> so I actually did fall asleep here. Um, I really needed it. I actually fell asleep a lot during this thing, but I didn't really record a lot of it. But this is me trying to work out. Um, this is still the three margaritas talking. <laughs> yep, still the margaritas talking, thinking I could do a workout. And now I'm like, hmm, good core workout. I'm just sitting here contemplating life and I started walking around again just making myself feel more and more alone <laughs> and I'm like back to square one all by myself and it got so cold that I went to the bathroom and started doing that I spent a good 20 minutes just doing that under the whatever those are called dryer yes yes dryer and I had to massage my body I was feeling all the aches, I was feeling all the colds, and the janitorial staff kept walking by, and I felt awkward because I'm recording myself doing this. It's just so weird. It has been exactly 24 exhausting long hours at the Chicago O'Hare Airport. My friend finally landed, and honestly, as Honestly, I'm so tired. What was I thinking trying to do a 24 hour challenge at an airport? I don't know. I'm glad I did it, but like, I don't feel glad right now. There's only feelings of regret, tiredness, exhaustion, and just a lot of sleepiness. Maybe I'll feel better about doing it tomorrow. Oh, look who's finally here. Say hello. Hello. That's it? Hi. Hello. 